Good evening, friends, and welcome back to Emily's Game. We are continuing on our mission for the final glimpses. When we last played, we were to obtain a ship with a 21 light year grab jump range. Our wonderful Star Eagle did not have this ability. So I got to thinking, let's play with the ship builder and see if we can't advance its abilities. And well, we did. I believe we've got sufficient range now. And I will show you what I did. Ship. Yes, as you can see, we can go 22 light years. What I did was I replaced the reactor and the grav drive. It took me a while to find the one that would actually work and not exceed my ship's capabilities. I also added these uh, fuel pods. Um, I believe that will help us get there without having to stop so often along the route. So we're going to attempt this with the Star Eagle. I'm really glad we could because we'd worked so hard to get it and I was afraid that we were not going to be able to use it for this mission. We are going to go to Indum 3A. Oh, and look, we're not using any fuel at all to get there. That blows my mind. It just must be such a long jump without any systems in between it. 16 light years. I don't know why you have to have a 21 light year ship to go 16 light years. I had 18 light year engine. We're not going to complain about it. We're just going to do it. I'm going to assume we're going to this cryo lab. I see nothing else on the planet, so we'll find out. If not, then we'll have loot. I hope. If you missed my little short episode of how to boost jump faster, uh, please go back and check that out. But let me show you. We can now shoot across the surface. And we did that by mapping this an alternate key. Sorry, I was trying to see what was going on. We did that by mapping an alternate key to our jump button. We jump with one and then we boost with the other. Let me see where we're going and then I'll try to explain it just a little better. An artifact. Oh, this is great. Because it could be anywhere. Lady, how you doing? Okay. Let me try to explain this. When you jump and boost, of course, we you know with low grav, see how slow you move forward? Less effort to move, but muscle memory may work against you. Using the new key mapping, if you notice, you actually boost forward just a little better. This is regular, this is boost forward. Regular, boost forward. It's, it's a considerable difference. Um, you notice it much more on a planet with more gravity. It was a nice little find, let me tell you. I wish I'd have found it a long time ago. This looks like it might be an elevator. An evil later. No, I was wrong. Oops. What did I hit? That was weird. I hit the W key to go forward and it opened the map. I don't know why. All right, we need to find I'm going to tell you what, I bet you anything that we've got to go that way. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna sell it. Heavy particle fumes. I guess we don't need that. Look at that arm moving really slowly. It's like they're still in slow motion. Oh, I'm sorry. I will skip that out. That's funny. To me, it's funny. This looks familiar. Although I'm sure they uh, they reuse some bases on different planets. I see something. I'm not hitting that. Oh, they're inside. Move my back. Where have they gone? Hold your horses. What is a kaffir? Oh, health. Dang it. I always get busted with this stuff, but whatever. We're taking it. That before we are discovered. Oh, we're fine. where I've been here. You know what this looks like? This looks like the, the base that they held Barrett in. And, um, I think it was just the space pirates took him. Yeah, it looks just like it. Too easy. <laughs> All right, this is probably going to take us deep underground. But before we do that, let's go back and make sure there's nothing more in that upper part of the building. Just in case we don't come out at the same spot. Things. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Don't judge Maybe. me. I get what I want, and I want what I take. Um... I don't know why I got zero wire tagged. It must be for something I'm trying to do. Okay. Well, I'm glad we came back, because there really was nothing up here, or, or nowhere to go up here, so. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Sorry, I thought that would read itself. Let me read that to you. There it is. Uh, Lars, I've brought this up before, but Shannon doesn't seem to grasp the situation. If we don't do something about the system connectors for the cryogenic projects, and there is even a minor failure, we could have facility-wide issues. <clears throat> I know you understand this problem. But I want to remind you that the exterior environmental changes are potentially exasperating the situation. We can't control those factors. Please talk to Shannon. As much as I enjoy working with you, I don't want to be trapped in this ice tomb forever. Thanks, Charlie. Uh -huh. What do you want to bet? Charlie is going to be stuck down there with Shannon, or not Shannon, Lars, I believe her name was. Did you like that? It beat me in the face like that? That's funny. They were a little tough, huh? I say boom pop and black licorice. Yes, it did. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not a fan. Kind of curious if I drink that, if they'll be all like, Ew. oh, hey, look, finally a book I could pick up that actually has something going on. The gravity paradigm. The truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes and not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein Rosenbridge. That was the goal, the end point. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. When we look at grav drive technology today, and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years and seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we've achieved. Dr. Josephine Inatu's sem seminal work continues for another 535 pages and has become the most highly respected text on grav drives and grav jumping ever written. Okay. Uh, I thought we'd get like. <laughs> I thought we'd get. Um, I don't know. Not an achievement, but, you know, some kind of. Ill. Of space and time, the crystal egg. There was until a year ago a little and very grimy looking shop near Seven Dials, over which, in weather worn yellow lettering, the name of C, Cave, Naturalist, and Dealer in Antiquities, was inscribed. The contents of its window were curiously vari variegated. I've never heard that word before. They comprised some elephant tusks and an imperfect set of chessmen, beads, and weapons and a box of eyes, two skulls of tigers, and one human, several moth-eaten stuffed monkeys, one holding a lamp, an old-fashioned cabinet, a fly-blown ostrich egg or so, some fishing tackle, and an extraordinary dirty empty glass fish tank. There was also at the moment the story begins a massive crystal worked into the shape of an egg and brilliantly polished. 1809 saw the publication. Anyway, yeah, that's just is what it is. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? Yeah, I've seen this before. Ah. <laughs> Just not here. No. Ooh. I like none. Made me realize that I'm actually hungry. Oh, that's cool, dude.
Good night. I mean, it's just project data. I'm guessing it's just... stuck in the rail. That sucked. <laughs> Let's track him out here. Oh good. Oh, I wish I could remember where I put my weapons. going to leave a mark i think oh shit Goodness. Does that do nothing? Oh, you jerk. Okay, forget that. We'll get the key. Apparently you have to have a key to get beyond that. Where'd they go? Oh! <laughs> it was just dead in the corner. Love it. Oh! God! You scared the hell out of me, girl. <laughs> she just drops out of the ceiling. 
Uh, why you do that to me? Alright, I have a feeling we will be seeing our friend, our friendly neighborhood Starborn. I need the cutter. Something on your mind? Yep. I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? I'd like you to keep it, yes. But I mean... You could sell it. I think something. That was weird. Yeah, that was really weird. I couldn't cut that one out for some reason. Alright. Listen, you take this back. You are a welcome diverse. Did you need me to carry something? Yes, I'm for sorry. You? I'm so needy. Okay, that's weird. I've never, never seen that happen before. Like a module, the ship fell off or something. All right, let's dump some junk into the uh, the ship storage so that I can run again at the next mission. But now we're gonna turn in our our latest acquired artifact. And that really didn't do much, but that's cool. That's cool. Hi, right, friends. We're going to wrap this episode up. I hope you enjoyed it. It was long. I'm sorry. Uh, it was fun. Um, not sure what would have made it better, but maybe less getting lost in a underground frozen lab. But you know what it is. It is what it is. Uh, please like and subscribe. Come back for the next one. And uh, feel free to watch my uh, prior videos as well. 
I'll definitely leave me comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you'd like to see and what you would like to not see. And I would be happy to try and include or exclude uh, any recommendations. You all have a wonderful evening. Take care. See you next time. Thank you.